Uh, but on the Library of Alexandria, let me ask, uh, be, because you were on Joe Rogan, it does make me really sad, and I realize that I'm just probably being romantic, that his most of his library of interviews that were on YouTube mm -hmm. have now been taken down yes, because he went right. to Spotify. And that was the first, I'm probably an idiot, but it was the first time I realized that this knowledge that we've been building up on the internet doesn't necessarily last forever. No, it doesn't, unless you preserve it. I mean, it's like all things. If if you do not preserve them, if you do not make uh, efforts, um, you know, so many of my, I th it just really brings to mind right off the top of my head, all my, uh, so many friends of uh, of mine that are Jewish, uh, you know, they're they're basically secular, but yet through even the secular aspect of just keeping the traditions alive it's like well you could always pick a book and read about read about it clearly <laughs> it's called the torah but um if you don't put these things into action if you don't make them a part of y your consciousness maybe even on subconsciousness just by, through through repetition they will die they will become simply something that exists somewhere until you find it again and carl gotch used to say something um, he would say that I don't invent moves. I just rediscover them. But yet Gotch and Billy Robinson also would understand, uh, that you, if someone's not carrying the, the torch, it'll go out. Now that doesn't mean fire can't be rekindled. It just means that it, that torch no longer is lighting the way on, on this knowledge. And so it's, it's important to be an individual even on on an individual level to be a repository for for aspects of knowledge